Yo guys, today in this video we'll be doing the overview of the open beta 16 for the OnePlus 3T which OnePlus have introduced today and this is the open beta so we have got a surprise and that is the introduction to the Android Oreo and I'm really very happy with uh, OnePlus that they're very quick with the updates and uh, I feel that before 2018 we can get the Android Oreo for OnePlus 3T so let's begin with the overview so the first and the most noticeable change with the open beta 16 is the introduction to the android oreo which i have already introduced and the second thing is that they have updated the android security patch level to september 1 2017 so that's a very good thing to notice that oneplus is uh, as usual they're quite regular with the updates so the second and the most important introduction is the picture in picture mode which is also a part of the android oreo and since most of you don't know let me tell about it for youtube uh, only if you have the youtube red subscription then only you're uh, eligible to view the picture in picture mode for youtube and since in india it's not eligible so uh, i can't demonstrate the picture in picture mode and regarding chrome i don't have any specific video apart from youtube uh, for which i can play videos and demonstrate so and practically speaking for indian users i don't feel that picture in picture mode is uh, major feature or if uh, majority of people would uh, you know use it so next is the added autofill so under the uh, languages and input as you can see here we have the autofill service and uh, by default it is disabled so you have to enable that over here it was selected to none then you have to click on the autofill with google now you can see you have a settings bar so you can uh, use the personal information which you, uh, whatever you have saved or the address or the credit cards or the saved passwords so these are the things which uh, you can use for you know auto filling options so yeah that was the third thing so coming to number four is the added smart text selection and as you can see for example if you have any text uh, for example I have opened messages and I've inserted a address of a specific place so as you can see that this is a specific places address and if you select it it will get if you select the address as a whole as you can see that you will get the google maps option as you can see over here so for example let me choose the whole address and if i click on the maps maps will open and if it will be uh, showing you the address of the place which you entered so yeah that's a pretty good thing they have added the smart text selection too also coming to the new quick settings design as you can see that the designs also changed here you can see the battery percentage and uh, the logos have also been changed of some of the items and on the pencil on the edit one you can see you have also a new uh, icon that is the uh, switch data i guess yeah switch data so you can uh, drag and drop tiles to edit so yeah that's the refined one and uh, the settings is also quite similar no change in these settings so far so yeah that's a pretty refined uh, look of the launcher I would say not many changes to notice now let's come to the change in the launcher so the first uh, changes uh, is the added notification dots so for example let's take Instagram and let's go to the app info as you can see that here we have the under the notifications here we have the allow notification dot so for some of the applications we get the uh, what do you say notification dot for example let's check for YouTube too under the notifications as you can see that all the applications have the uh, notification dot feature so yeah they have included but I have also found a bug so let me show you and as you can see that I have a notification of Instagram on my status bar and also on the lock screen I have the notification but here the notification dot can't be simply seen as you can see that here is the Instagram application but I can't find the dot uh, I don't know that whether it's the issue with the Instagram application or is it a bug for the open beta so yeah I feel that it can work with the whatsapp or with uh, YouTube but since this is not my primary phone so I haven't tested it out but uh, yeah so the second change is that now you will be able to upload photos directly to short on oneplus and for that let me show you here if you go to the wallpapers and then if you go to short on oneplus and if you make an account over here as you can see that this is my account and here as uh, I haven't uploaded so it's showing didn't upload any pictures so over here in add you can then uh, click the photos which you want and you can directly upload uh, on the short one plus from the device so apart from these additions oneplus have listed that they have found some of the issues in the first android o beta that is fingerprint unlock may be a bit slow in the uh, in some of the situations but uh, 
for now I would say that uh, fingerprint works absolutely fine uh, when I installed until now I haven't experienced any issues it works it works blazingly fast no issues no lags nothing so yeah that's the first thing and second is the shortcut to access google photos is unavailable so yeah that's pretty much true it's not available right now so the third thing is the uh, stability of nfc and bluetooth needs to be improved so i don't use nfc much uh, first time i used it with the galaxy note 8 to transfer some files and uh, though it's a slow process and uh, it took a bit longer to you know communicate with the note 8 I don't know whether the placement uh, was wrong or what but yeah it needs to be improved and don't know about the bluetooth so yeah that was the third thing and talking about number four the performance and compatibility of third party applications uh, till now it was fine but don't know what will happen and also I would like to tell that the RAM management is also very good let me show you the available RAM for now so if I go to storage and uh, memory here is the memory as you can see that out of 6 gigabytes free ram is around 4.1 gigabytes and uh, it's not surprising just because i don't have much applications installed but yeah 4.1 gigabytes is decent i would say for uh, no applications so for default i guess it would be around 2 gigabytes free available so these were some of the features and the additions and the cons which oneplus has listed on their website and apart from that after using it for around one and a half hours to two hours uh, I have noticed that the battery drain uh, is going to be an issue for this open beta. Uh, the boot up time was decent, it took around 30 seconds to boot up, I mean to restart, yeah. And uh, the fingerprint was also quite good. But yeah, the battery drainage uh, might be an issue for this open beta. So you must be aware of that. So yeah, I hope that you have liked my video. This was sort of a quick overview of the Android oreo or the androids or the open beta 16 which oneplus have introduced today and uh, i hope that you have liked my video if you liked it i would appreciate if you click the like button do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you have any specific questions do not forget to comment in the comment section below so this is aditya and i hope to see you in my next video peace